speakers. Next month, I'm going to have Rob, no, Rick Forstein from Chicago area. He's going to be virtual. We're going to be here together. We'll be virtually doing a talk about 60 tips, current tips in 60 minutes. So he had an old version. It's like a new, a new version, like 60 more tips and tricks. He's pretty happy about that. So that'll be next month in the main meeting. And then um, in June uh, at the Ultra Aqua, that Saturday night, uh, June 11th, uh, Josh Cunningham, Cunningham Sick will be our speaker there. So sort of just we're into speakers. I think those are upcoming speakers coming. And uh, without any further ado, tonight we have Ralph Williams. Uh, he's been a member of our club in Youngstown. He's from the Mahoning Valley area uh, near Youngstown. And um, last time he was here, he gave us a talk on bettas and breeding bettas. And um, he's dabbled in the current industry enough where now he's gotten to uh, doing his own current maintenance business, and it's called Awesome Aquatics, and I think he's from the Mahoning Valley, and he'll tell you, up to the Cleveland area, and different clients that range from public areas to nursing homes and schools, and, and so that's just getting off the ground, and it's getting more clients, and um, he's going to give a very enthusiastic and colorful talk, <laughs> mostly about, I mean, it'll be interesting about I think, I, I think I've heard just a few stories, but some of the interesting stories, like how it came to be, this company, and also some of the oddball things that happened with his clients, I think, were interesting stories. And um, I think we're going to do, give him uh, the floor. Thank you very much, Rob. Thank you for coming. He's going to have a light on here for the talk, but if you have questions, just raise your hand as you go on. Some of the things you need clarification. around and nobody else is doing anything that I feel I could do better so there's just like there's no point in that so I kind of stopped serving and bartending that's what I'd always been doing and I had become a cook I'm not fantastic at this but it, it's my job and I bake on the weekends so every weekend I bake breadsticks back there that's why they're here so I'm baking these breadsticks, and I always just think about, like, what am I going to be doing? And this came to mind. So it was like the idea of Awesome Aquatics. So tabling that, about 10 years ago, um, I was a member of the Youngstown Fish Society. And I had been given a fantastic opportunity. There, um, there was a nursing home in our area. I'm from Niles, so like Youngstown Warren area. They had a fish tank, and they needed it taken care of. So I volunteered to do this. So I met with them, and it was, it was, it was like our, our consultation, I guess. <clears throat> it was just me, a guy in a fish club that wanted to clean a fish tank. So they said, it's a 55-gallon tank. You're going to get a dollar per gallon. That's $55 a month. You come once a month, and you clean it. That was it. 
So what we're going to see here, I like to film a lot of stuff. I film marching bands. So this is our, uh, this is the 55 gallon fish tank at the time when I kind of inherited it. So there's four angelfish and two neon tetras. <laughs> That's it. Wasn't a bit overcrowded, wasn't it? Uh, what do you think of this tank? <laughs> it's not going to break my heart. I put in these little bonsai trees. I just kind of made it like a little Asian tea garden for them. But like, this was it. And I saw this and I'm like, I could do so much more. I know that I can. So I went down and I sat with that administration and I said, look, I'm your fish guy. Um, I want to do some more stuff. Can I, can I get some more fish? Can I get some decorations and everything? And they're like, sure, absolutely. Just give us the receipts. And then, like, they would reimburse me. So, I went home, and I went through my fish room, which is so much. There's so many decorations. <coughs> Why are these in my basement sitting here in a box or on a shelf when they could be working for me in a fish tank? So, on a Monday, I talked to them about that. Tuesday, I raided my fish room, and then I, I went shopping. Tuesday night, 10 o'clock, I, uh, I went to the nursing home. It was obviously after hours, and I did this. I made this happen. I, I pulled out the angelfish, and I made this. I just put some castles in there, and it still has the same background, but I added a lot of fish. I love tetras. I think that it looks so cool with just your blue brahmies swimming around, and there's some survey tetras, and there's some white skirts. So you kind of have like all the water levels like filled. And then there's zebra danus singing around the top up there. They love this. <clears throat> they had residents that were coming out of their rooms and they were sitting watching it all the time. So cool. But I still, I wanted to do more. The thing, I, I knew that I needed to put a lot of plants in here because this tank itself, it's not in like a sitting area. It's in a hallway. They come trucking through with these these big tr uh, like carts yeah. for like with everybody's dinners on them. Or they have the laundry carts going through. I can feel that in my feet. So I know that they can. So a nice busy tank, something that like keeps the fish moving, they're not going to really pick up on that. So it kind of works out. So this started, and then I bought some other stuff. I gave them my receipts, and they sent me a check for my $55, and then they put in what I had spent, which the way they did that at the end of the year, they wrote me off on their taxes, so it's like I'm paying taxes on what I already had and then spent. You know what I mean? Immediately no. Immediately no. So, I stopped doing that, so I still do the dollar per gallon, but I just said, you know what, I'm going to buy things and I'm going to put them in here, I'm going to take them out and I'll use them somewhere else. So that works out for them too, because they don't have to keep all of these things. So that's what I started doing, and then I started having fun with it. I put in a lot more Tetris, um, red eye Tetris, uh, head and tail like Tetris, black neons. I would change the theme a lot. I don't know if you can tell, but the wood grain on the tank is different than the stand. Um, it's from the leak, so I would replace the tank with another 55. So, same stuff, but I just I changed all the decorations, moved the castles back to my fish room, and put in all of this stuff. And the residents, like, I would never really tell them when I was going to do this. And I thought that that was really cool, because every single day is just like, it's the same thing. So they go to bed, they wake up, they come out. Oh, look, the fish tank's different. And it, it keeps them really interested in it. And they really do enjoy this. I have, there's residents that have dementia. They can't remember their family sometimes. But when I come in, oh, the fish guy's here. Hey, did you bring us more fish, fish guy? Or are you doing, what do you have for us today? I just tell them I'm giving the fish a bath today. <laughs> So, because I was doing these themes, this isn't, this isn't, this is me, but this wasn't like a, a tank for like anything like at a nursing home or whatever. 
This was at the Allegheny River Valley Aquarium Society show in New York. Um, I wanted to do something different, so that's obviously very, very different. I threw this together, and Wilma Chestnut, I think she's an active member of the, of the River Valley Club, great communication, because I literally went on a Saturday, I set this up, she gave me her word, like, this is gonna be okay, I drove back to Ohio, and then it's like, this is on its own for five days, and then they're gonna judge it on the fifth day. So, I actually, this, this aquarium won first place, and it won the People's Choice Award. So I was really, really excited about that. I was hoping for at least a third, just because I wanted to have a certificate or a plaque from an out-of-state Fish, fish show. So that's why I threw this in here. But that volcano was a hit. Everybody loved the volcano. So I eventually, that's something that I put in at the nursing home. Um, it's coming up, but right here, this is another theme that I've done. I just, I crashed in Titanic and put it on an iceberg. <laughs> so they love that. And in the background, this was really cool because everything, I put the castles in because in the first day because it's so fish tank. Like when you think of a fish tank, especially when you're, when you're a senior citizen, when your kids had fish tanks, they had like the goldfish, a nice rock, a plant, and there's a castle. Every fish tank that I've ever seen when I was a kid and I'd go to the pet shop, they had a background like that. I took a sheer blue wrapping paper and I put it on it. And then I took up aluminum foil and I balled it up and then I unfolded it and I just made little tiles of it on the back. I could have probably bought waves and just did something like a print, but this was easier. This I just I wanted to put in the work. So same thing, but with the Titanic. And I think I got that in an Akron uh, raffle too. <laughs> but here's the volcano. They lost their minds. They were so happy, like, oh my gosh, there's a volcano in our fish tank. They just thought it was the coolest thing. So, one of the, one of the nurses, they had guppies and pluckos at home, and they always ended up with all these babies. So I put two placosmas in here. They were bristle nose, <coughs> amongst everything else. So, what was cool about this is I didn't really figure this out until like maybe two or three months later, but these videos that I have, like this wasn't just, this wasn't just like, these are fish tank themes that I did and I just, I think they're cool. But if you watch them, this is kind of the evolution of Awesome Aquatics. This is how the business plan of Awesome Aquatics formed. A dollar per gallon, 55 gallons is $55. They don't need that much work. They might to start, but this isn't something that I'm going to be investing all this money in every single month. I'm just going to be doing basic maintenance, but there's going to be no huge expenses, hopefully. <clears throat> so the dollar per gallon, and then other things just seemed like a perk for, the, for, the, for my clients, but they were so easy for me. It is so easy for me to hand you a, a, a can of fish food. So you as my client never have to purchase fish food. You never have to purchase fish from me either because it's my job to keep your fish tank going and active and happy and healthy. If I, if I can't do that and everything's dead, you hired the wrong guy. I shouldn't be doing this. So it just makes sense. A dollar per gallon, you'll never have to buy food, you'll never have to buy fish unless I have to order something special. And then, the decorations, I have so much. You wouldn't want to keep these anyway. If your fish, if your pleco gets too big for your for your log in here, I'll replace it with another one and use that in a different day. I can clean it off, sanitize it, and there we go. So that's kind of how the business the business plan for Awesome Aquatics started. Based on that nursing room. So that was that was fantastic. Um, this is another one I did. This is just a clean, neat one. It was after Halloween. I learned a valuable lesson. Um, when you do Halloween decorations at a nursing home, they don't like it if you put in tombstones. <laughs> so, I've done that. <laughs> um, it wasn't terrible. 
Um, so ever since then, I kind of cleaned it up. But I still do. I get kind of edgy, and I like to do a lot of fun stuff for Halloween and for Christmas. I'll take the background off, and I'll wrap the whole tank in wrapping paper. And it looks really cool. I put Santa in there, and they, every tank is a Christmas tree. But I use all these bright colors because when I think of, of Halloween, I think of like haunted houses, and they all have like that paint that shows up under black lights. It's so cool looking. So this, but plus I had some horror things in here too. And in my defense, they did have a casket in the cafeteria with a lady in a wedding dress laying <laughs> around. So I really thought tombstones with little fish on the way to text message. <laughs> Rob, are they still your client? Yeah, they are. <laughs> so, I'm going to pause this. All of this was happening, and then um, this is going to take us up to about 2020. COVID happened. So, I was scheduled to go clean this fish tank. I, I have to clean it. So, I called them and I said, look, I know you can't have people come into your nursing home, just whatever, but I have a fish tank I have to clean. How do you want to do this? And they said, well, just give us some time. We just need to figure everything out. The fish are fine right now. So I went for three months without checking on the fish tank, which was kind of hard. But work, Olive Garden, restaurant work, service industry, customer service <coughs> was so much. It was so busy. We literally worked from 5 in the morning until 2 in the morning because 10 people were all we were allowed to have to work. It just, it was a lot of stuff. But um, I, got, I got to think about some things, and this, this was my happy place. This is what I always wanted to do. So I went in, and I cleaned this fish tank. And it was crazy. There, there's a funny picture. There's a really funny picture I want to show you. <coughs> it's over here. Um, Michael Swanson's messaging me, asking if I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm scared to go. I'm, I'm, I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell. So, after the refreshment, she'll probably thank Yeah. I want you to see this. Here we are. Okay. okay. So, this is me. This is me going to clean a fish tank. Look at this. <laughs> this. This one, the half of it. We had to wear. The, 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 the mask, I had to have goggles on, my glasses, because I can't see, goggles, and then a face shield. I had to wear gloves up to my elbows, and then I had to have like the scrubs with a poncho on over top, and I had to wrap my shoes in plastic. It was, it was a hot mess, but this was my life for almost a year. That's why I had to clean the fish tank there. And it just, all the preparing that like they gave me, like, wasn't enough because I mean you get, you get used to all these people that you're seeing there, these residents, and they look forward to seeing you. And then you see <coughs> rooms that just have like a red curtain over them, like the, the plastic bag over the doorway, and it's like that patient has COVID. And then you come back a week or two later, and then the, it's gone, and the door is just closed. Mm -hmm. So it just it was really hard. It was hard to see. And then, like, you'd walk down the hallways, and they were just quiet. But then other parts, they were very active. Like, the activities people were working so hard to keep everybody in good spirits. They were singing karaoke. One would dress up as a shark. So it was, it was really fun. So I knew this fishing, I had to do something. I wanted to change it and do something big. And it had to be really special for them. So I talked to the activities people. And the general age with these people, they had been born between the 1920s and the 1930s. And I thought, I could do something really, really cool. So I made a fish tank themed after the 1960s. Mm -hmm. So I put this thing up on here so that it would explain to them what they're looking at. And it says the 60s. And all of these things that are on here after the dates, Neil Armstrong walked on the moon. Beatles Yellow Submarine, the Kinks and the Beatles made the British Invasion, Kirby the Love Bug, the Vietnam War, Star Trek, the first thousand Tahitian pearls, the first heart transplant, and the first sushi restaurant. All of these things are featured in this tank. 
so these residents could come down and look and find them. There's your pearls in the corner. I use lots of psychedelic colors. There's your, uh, your yellow submarine for the beetles. Next to that is a Star Trek Voyager. And then there's your British flag next to that for the British invasion. There is the heart for the first heart transplant. To the right, you're going to see a tank that's for the Vietnam War. Behind that, you're going to see Herbie on the bottom, bubbles up the tailpipe. <laughs> behind Herbie, you're going to see an astronaut. And behind him, there is going to be a sushi restaurant. And it's a little, little fun for the workers and everything. As it moves to the right, you're going to see some mushrooms. Psychedelic <laughs> mushrooms. Did you have all that at home? I did. And then I had to order a lot on Amazon, but I had... This is a process. Those sharks, these sharks right here, they, they're a big part of this. Um, a funny story, I've never seen them lay on the bottom like that before. Well, this one year, every month, I did a different part of the world being for the tank. I had this huge coliseum in there, this huge Roman coliseum. I called the nursing home and I said, hey, I'm Rob, I'm on my way to come clean your fish tank. And they said, okay, well, that's fine, just whenever you get here. Hey, did you take the sharks out because we haven't seen them in five days? And I said, no, the sharks are, they're in there. And they said, well, they're gone, somebody may have taken them, I'm really sorry. <laughs> so I get in there and I'm walking down the hall. I got my bucket and I got my siphoner. And they, um, like the nurses were looking at me kind of weird. I get down there and I'm starting to like wave the glass and they're like, so the sharks are gone. I'm like, I don't know where they went. Maybe they died, maybe they jumped out. I don't really know. So I grab this huge piece and I lift it up. And each shark swam out one in each direction. They were under there, and they said, we thought somebody stole them. They have somebody in the office right now that they're terminating because they believe that he stole these sharks. <laughs> so I looked at them, and I'm like, we can stop them. <laughs> this place has to be stopped. So we had to go down, and it just, I'm like, they were just hiding, which I don't know why they would. These are, I still have them. They're going on three years in this fish tank, and they're like this big now. They're at 75. You'll see them coming up. So this tank was really important. This one and so was this one right here. There's this commercial break. <laughs> so they were important because what I learned doing the, these two tanks, this was doing around the world. Um, I needed a background. And when you do something like Egypt, you can't do anything like that without pyramids. I need pyramids. I could not find anything pyramids. The lady at Smart said, just put a blue background on I've never been to Egypt, but I'm positive there's no blue there. You can't do that. So I went home and I thought about this. I have a prop. I thought about this. I needed to do something. I was all over the internet looking for pictures of pyramids. Nobody had them. I found one picture, that background. That guy is still alive and he's this big. He's in the goldfish tank and actually it's a 60 gallon tank now, I upgraded it. When I'm in there cleaning it, the water is up to here on me. He always tries to swim up my shirt into my armpit every single time. And I should expect it and I don't. But I needed a background, so I found this. This is the background that's on that tank. I found this on the internet and I printed it. I, I screenshotted it, I cropped it, I sent it to Kinko's and I said, I need to have this blown up to, I don't know, four feet by something stupid, like to be a 60 gallon tank. This is a 60 gallon tank. So they did this for me. And then I put it on the tank and I, I customized a background for a tank. But doing that, what I, like in hindsight, what I'm realizing I did, I just 
customize an aquarium for the theme. I just need a background to fit that theme. So if I take the ball and run with that, Awesome Aquatics can make a background and tailor it to an aquarium theme to fit your home or business. So say that you own a Papa John's. I can print off the Papa John's logo, blow it up, stretch it, crop it, and put it in your Papa John's lobby. So you have an aquarium tailored to Papa John's. That's what I just came up with. So that was a huge hit. They love that. I have an aquarium and a factory. You're going to see two of those in here. They love that, that the aquarium is actually tailored to them. It's really cool. And as a business owner, it's like it's a compliment. So that's how I learned that with the 60s thing. But it was really cool because then I started, I started doing it with other things. And I did this for Awesome Aquatics. After, after they had the 60s tank and this, I'm kind of known for doing Halloween, and I do it in all of my clients' tanks. Halloween and Christmas, because they're my favorite. So this was my favorite Halloween tank that I've done for them. I really want you to see this, because this is just fantastic. I had no blowfish in here, but I had decorations that were made for blowfish. And I made an LED light all blue lights, it made everything show up like this. The clients absolutely love this. And so did the residents. I mean, I can not say this is for. There's no sharks. This was a big thing for them. They, they literally look forward to this every single year. And I love adding all these community fish. The only problem you run into is that, like in a nursing home, People, when they get older, they can't really see these fish. So you need to have bigger ones. Mm -hmm. So that's why I have goldfish and oscars and uh, peacocks and everything in there in the different tanks. So as this is happening, administration really, really liked this. So they pulled me in the office one day and I thought, oh my God, I'm being fired. They said, we have a spot in assisted living. We don't know what to do with this spot. They'll never say, we just want to get a fish tank. It's, we have this spot. So I said, why don't you get a fish tank? So they got a fish tank. I donated a 75 gallon tank to them. Ty Hunsaker donated an Oscar and some uh, lace fin catfish, Cynodonis. Feather fin, that's what it is. So they're in there. That fish tank and the donation from Awesome Aquatics is right here. And if you look on the left, the Synodonis and the Pleco, they're in that log fighting over the cave. 